I'm Ray, I'm 68. My name is Meg, I'm 61. I'm Alex, and I'm 55 years old. I'm Tony, I'm 58. I'm Shirley, I'm 80. Hi, I'm Grace, I'm 44. I'm an actress. A hypnotherapist. A model. An executive coach. I went grey when I was about 35. Probably in my 40s. In my 20s. Before you know it, you're into a cycle and you're retouching roots and all sorts of things going on. And you kind of wake up and it's 20 years later. My children seem to love it. They say, Mum, you've got great hair. It's lovely. My family and friends have been really supportive about my grey hair, actually. And a few of them have actually also stopped dyeing their hair since I did. So we're turning into a little bit of a tribe now. It's changed my life in the way that it's probably got me more modelling work. Music videos, short films. I started modelling in my 40s and I have to thank my grey hair. Having grey hair has given me a whole new lease of life and I really love that. It's really interesting in your mid-40s to suddenly start thinking about the way you look again. People tell me I look distinguished. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but that's what I'm told. When people make positive comments about my hair, it makes me feel good. Grey hair on women is fantastic. It really gives them this extra magnetic feeling. Um, they look fabulous. And I love sexy silver-haired men. Wow. <laughs> It's more unusual for a woman to decide to stop dyeing their hair and to have natural hair. But really, there's nothing to be afraid of. And really, loads of people that I know actually prefer their hair once it's grey. My confidence has definitely grown since I embraced my greyness. Most definitely. Enjoy it. Celebrate grey hair. The best choice I ever made was to go natural. Grey is beautiful. Grey is the only way. It will be the best decision you ever make. George Clooney, hot. <laughs>